So, what is going on guys? This is Ryan here, and I am actually here with a playthrough I have highly anticipated doing for some time. This is Until Dawn. I am going to be honest with you guys, I have played a couple of the first few chapters straight off the bat, but I have made some wrong decisions, and I've really been rethinking things, and I can't wait to play this again. Honestly, starting a new game for me in this is just... No biggie at all. Honestly, I can just do this straight away because the game is so incredible. If this is your first time seeing it, you will not be disappointed. This is like the ultimate gaming experience. It is so immersive. It's hard to pull yourself away from it. It's literally like watching a movie, but you control it. It's incredible. Anyway, let's watch this introduction because this explains the whole basis of this game for you all. I may commentate over it. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Oh boy. Your story... ...is one of many possibilities. I just love it. It's so incredible! Choose your actions carefully. There's the warning. Let's do this, honestly. Let's do this. Look how beautiful this is. Guys, I'm going to let you guys really enjoy this one. So, I'm going to keep it on the hush for this. I'm going to talk a lot of things just after this. So, uh, here we go. Let's do this. It's a little bit wrong. Come on, she deserves it. And it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. <laughs> Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. It is so immersive, it's unbelievable. It really is. She's here for the good stuff. That's no play on words, guys. Ooh, the protagonist. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. And so we begin. Let's play. This looks like a pretty uh, intense party, I may actually add, before we do too much, let's just have a look around here. So, as you can see, it feels a lot like Silent Hill to me in ways, and also, it's a crossover of many horror games, but it's done in a very incredible style. So use the right stick to look around, objects that glint can be inspected, so for example, this can be inspected. What is it, I wonder? An empty bottle of beer. Or some kind of vodka or something. So you see, you can see what it is, and then you can place it down. Jeez. So there we go, we're creating the connections already. So that's the brother of this girl here. And I yeah, I thought I saw an object over here glinting too. It's a letter! Let's find out what's going on here. Oh, I didn't see this first time. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter without it. Similar, something like that. Okay, come to the guest room at 2am. Addressed from Mike. So... Get herself into now. So there we go, we're creating the connections again. This is her sister. Hannah is her sister. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell 
<laughs> oh, Mike. Oh! She's her did you guys see that? Oh my god! Matt! I'll explain in a second. What are you doing here? I'm sure well, you did looking on her arm. I'm sorry, Hannah. It's all gonna happen. Just a stupid prank. So they got busted. Well, she kind of got busted. You know that? And it's a pretty harsh thing to uh, have happen to someone. I'd imagine she's the youngest too. So that's what the vibe gives us. So use the right stick to choose. Okay, here we go. Here's our choices. We can wake Josh or we can find the others. I'm gonna wake Josh because that is the actual brother. I hope he gets Josh. up. Does he get up? Josh. Oh, I really should have left that. Damn it. Guys, of course, he's drunk. What the hell? So there's different subplots going on here. Joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You mm -hmm. jerks! Hannah. Those guys are pretty harsh, aren't they? Hannah. Putting a, a girl in this situation. Especially in the weather, I mean, jeez. It's, it's really harsh. I think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. So would you really want to stay in that house? So here we go. Correct the actions before the timer runs out. You'll see what will happen here, guys. So we have to press. I'm bad with this. I'm going to warn you ahead of time. Okay. Decision. We're going to go the fast way. This means that we have more actions to do. You see? So this relies greatly on us. Okay. Decisions. Okay. So what's going on here? Okay. Uh, whoa. Uh, that come from the right. Uh, she's... Um, this is a difficult one. I'm going to follow the noise. I know the footprints are there, but I want to follow the noise. I want to see what what made that noise. I think it was the birds, perhaps. Hang on. Okay. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Oh, there she is. Was that a good idea? Okay. Um, I'm following the footprints this time. Oh wait, a shad. Oh my god, a shadow. Guys, who? I'm gonna follow the shadow. I definitely know that's Hannah on the right hand side. Who is this? A shadow. Okay. Oh. I don't remember this. Nice. Okay, touch the pad as shown. This is super cool. It's actually on the controller, so we swipe along the pad. It's amazing. Okay, here we go. Status update. So, we're following the shadow. And we can look around with the, the right stick. Super awesome. It's very immersive though, guys. It plays like a film. It's- oh, it's so good. Okay. I'm gonna watch how I'm talking. That scared me a little bit. <laughs> okay, right. What's this way here? Okay, that's just a corner. Right. Uh, let's check out in the background here. Hello? Oh, hang on. We've got a totem here. So we can pick these up, okay? And we can spin them around. I'll let you guys see what happens. Ooh. A death totem. So that, I, I think that signifies the fact that something is going to happen ahead of time. I'm not sure if that is actually... Whoa. In the trees, just in the back there. Hang on, was that the actual silhouette of this guy? Guys, I'm not sure, but it was up there. Um, we definitely can't see that now. Yes, we can. Goddamn trees. What the hell was that? You actually can't see him, I don't think. Oh, okay. Hannah. That's yeah, that's Hannah, yeah. Hannah. Hello? Oh, I feel bad for Hannah. Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. It's real oh my god, it's so Hannah. scary. Okay. Oh, damn. Damn, she really fell hard. Come on, Hannah. Oh, there goes the phone. There goes the phone. Great. Oh, my God. Okay. No. No. Shit. No. Get out. 
God damn. Ooh, crap. Okay. Um. That's a pretty steep drop too, to be honest. Um. Okay, and that murderer's right there. Hold on. And then we. We actually come face to face with him, kinda. Oh my god. I'm gonna. Um. Oh god. Um. I'm not gonna do anything. You can sometimes do this. I want to see what happens. Oh, okay. Oh, god damn. That really doesn't make that any less barbaric, seeing it a second time. Oh my gosh. By the way, guys, I just want to elaborate. A similar fate will occur basically no matter what in regards to those two. That's kind of the whole plotline of this game. Um, but that was interesting. Okay, so we both fell to our death. And then we're introduced there to this guy. Are a few things I need to make sure you understand. The facial animation is amazing. What happened last year? The past is beyond our control. The past. I okay. Accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. As you play your game, every single very weird, you isn't it? And the fate of those around you. Very weird. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant, and I want to help you see it through. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary. Hmm, it's... I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. It's crazy. Oh my All god. Right. We will start with a simple exercise. Okay. <laughs> please pick up cards? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Okay. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Right. And so we begin. Okay, so... This is super weird, guys. Have you noticed the way this guy talks to us? It's like... It's like, this is us, the player. This hand belongs to me, or whoever's playing the game, whoever's watching or playing, whatever. It's, it's so strange. And the identity is masked. It's like wearing gloves. It's crazy. Make you feel. Don't worry, guys, we do see it again. So let's take that drawing is kind of it it looks quite happy to me. I mean it's just a, a standardized farm shot. It looks like it's been painted in a unique style. It looks okay, although there is actually some weird artifacts on that picture, which are making me feel a little bit uneasy. Like in the bottom the bottom left hand corner, there appears to be like two eyes. I don't know if I'm seeing that wrong, but maybe that's part of the thing. Um it's got some good merits, but the scarecrow is kind of weird. Okay. Honesty is good. Yes. What Very good. It is that makes you feel uneasy. I wonder if it'll give me the option of the eyes. The scarecrow. I'm sure, but I don't. At the same time, I don't know if it is a pair of eyes. The scarecrow is kind of weird. If you actually look, it's got like. Oh, hang on. That scarecrow's got a hook on its left ha left arm. Is that a hook? That's pretty scary, to be honest. The scarecrow's freaking me out just a bit. Damn. See, the scarecrow were not wow. Dead. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Ooh. See, for example. I don't know, to be honest, those eyes look very freaky. I'm looking at those eyes in the bottom corner, but I don't know if they're eyes again. It seems to be a lot darker towards the bottom left. I'm gonna say I won't, because that still looks a bit weird. Why not? It's... Uh, it's- I was actually about to say it's kind of like the lonely feeling, but at the same time, you've got to think, when it- when it's dark on a farm, there's no lighting around that place from what we can see, that would be pitch black, that would be really, really scary. I'm gonna go, I'd be scared. I would actually be genuinely terrified of that. Is there something else in that picture that scares you? I think there is. Why is he laughing? Yes, there is. Wow. This is getting interesting. 
intriguing. It is, isn't it? I'm but perhaps we can explore the depths of your fears the next time we meet. Tom. Oh, I'd rather time for now. Great. Very awkward goodbye, isn't it? Very awkward. He just kind of stands up. Not even a goodbye. Takes his. Is that a cup of tea? Oh no, he's got tea. Ah, oh, that's not fair. Oh, he's got tea as well. It's not coffee. It's never coffee. It's always tea if it's in a cup. That's chinking. Damn. And here we go. Sony Computer Entertainment. Supermassive Games. I shouldn't be doing this. They would have employed someone to do this if they wanted it, really, wouldn't they? <laughs> Until dawn. Okay. Fantastic. Dream catchers. Just what I like. Super immersive, isn't it? This is just incredible. That baby face! Ooh, usually they say babies are cute! I have a strong disagreement to that baby anyway. I'm gonna presume that's a butterfly. Oh wow, that place looks very run down, huh? I wonder if all these places actually are things we see. Oh, check out the film roll! Mmm. Why would there be film roll? Oh, guys. Oh, this is so cool. Listen to this anyway. This is important. Sorry. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Yeah, thanks to some people, hey? Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an Whoa, interesting okay. history with the Washington family. Uh, oh, okay. ...pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still Whoa, this radio is important. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but... Holy crap. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. Oh. Oh my god. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Holy cow. Friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Whoa, that radio was really important. Whoa. All right. Well, hello. Oh my god. I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my This was a guy passed out, by the way. Annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! So, uh, Why am I an optimistic you know, about uh, that in ways? I wonder. Address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but. Undoubtedly. I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that. It's cool, man. That's really cool. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together, mm. you know, thinking of them. I really yeah. want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. That's cool. For, for the sake of my sisters, and, you know, okay, so... That's cool. That's really cool. Let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? <laughs> Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> yes! Let's do it. This is gonna be, uh, fun! Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, hang on a moment. Oh, these, this is so good. Oh, the metronome was in sync then. That's cool. It's the little things. That's a toad song of some sort. Oh, I'm learning so much from this. 
Oh my god, I'm learning so much from all of this. Oh my god. Seriously, this is so cool. Wow. You guys, by the way, I'm uh, a media student, or at least was, so I spent a lot of time analysing films, and if this game plays like a film, which it has so far, I'm going to try and bring you guys a lot of the things I see. I'm uh, kind of trained to look in the background and not just analyse what's in front of us, and I've learnt a lot already. Okay, so like, uh, oh my god. Um, so is he. He's learnt an awful lot, too. And it looks like it's the same guy, that was the same weapon. It looked like similar clothing too, which is very interesting. Okay, so here we go, we've got Sam. So this was Hannah's best friend, unfortunately. She is diligent, considerate, and adventurous. So that's an interesting uh, set of characteristics for Hannah, not Hannah, um, this girl. Hello? And yeah, here Hello we go. There? It doesn't mess around this at all, does it? Straight in the deep end here. So the path to the cable car station begins for me and Sam. And let's do it nice and slowly. If you notice, I'm, uh, you'll probably see my eyes in the bottom corner. Out of interest, guys, let's see this. Um, if you're actually watching uh, in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, at any given time, look at my eyes and see how much my eyes dart. That'd be interesting to see. And then if there's a, like a, a really darty moment, tell me down below. I'd love to see how I actually react when I'm analysing things. That'd be really interesting. I think that'd be cool. Use the right stick to look around. Objects that glint can be inspected. So we, we learned that from the first bit, but... Um, it's worth being reminded. The gate's busted. Climb over. Chris. Nice. And on the battle, what's that? Hang on. From sent- uh, what does the one at the top say? Ask the driver to stop at Blackwood Park. Oh, is this like an eat? Otherwise he won't. Okay, that's interesting. How do I get there, Chris? Cool. Nice. Nice to know he's using his, uh, his papers, uh, nicely. Okay, right, so- oh, there we go. The glint. I wonder if there's another way we can get around. Let's go this way anyway. This way looks the best. And we're gonna go the- let's do the quick way. Let's keep this interactive. Let's do it. Alright, what are we gonna do? There we go. And now what do we gotta do? What do we got? Let's go- uh, let's go climb. Let's take this one safe. Oh, oh, I pressed the wrong freaking button. Are you kidding me? Sorry guys, I suck at this. I'm going quick again. I'm not having this. No. No way. So yes. I made that. Good. I'm gonna jump now, because of that. There we go, nice. You'd catch Sam, and over we get. Nice, good stuff. Woo! Now we get a nice vantage point here. We can see a lot of this place. Okay, so he is... Oh, he's already... Oh my god, he's in already. Okay, right, I'm gonna check some out here. Can we please actually see up here? Okay, that's interesting. So he was definitely up there somewhere. Uh, we can't actually get any further back there. Check out this though for a scene. Aww. Squirrel! Woo! When the don't move icon is on screen, keep the wireless controller as still as possible. Huh? Oh boy. Uh. Don't move. Don't say anything. <laughs> oh, nice. It's a red squirrel. His little feet. Little bit of bats in the snow. So cute. If you are unsure of what to do next, you can see the current objective by pressing R1. Can we now? Okay, head to the cable car station. Cool. And we also get like a nice little stat screen. I'll show you guys this too. So you can see the character's traits, the relationship status with all the other characters, if she likes them, if she hates them. It's interesting. This character is really brave, as you, if you can't already tell. Also very charitable. And fairly honest, not very funny. Hmm, okay. Let's see if we can see that reflected in a personality. Cool. Right, let's go this way anyway. And there's a big totem right there. I want to read. Yes, please. Okay. Nice. Ingen oh, indigenous people and the butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. Of possible fu the color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. The black butterfly is death. Black butterflies prophesize the dream as death. Danger. Red butterflies... Butterflies? Butterflies warned of dangerous events. 
Lost brown butter. I can't say this. Something's wrong. Brown butterflies foretold the tragedy affecting friends. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. And the white butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Interesting. Okay. And this is of the uh, obviously the prophecies of the butterflies. And here, here's our first totem. Well, our second totem actually. And that looks like, as you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Possible future. No, how it doesn't say the future. So let's turn this guy over. This is a yellow one. Okay, interesting. It's a guidance totem. And we can, of course, check back on this so we can read what all these things did again. I believe the yellow one. Um, oh, God. Don't, don't, don't hate me, guys, but I've already forgot. That's terrible. Look at that for a shot, guys. Isn't that amazing? Oh, and you can press R1 at any time also to flash back over those totems. So you can uh, you can check out what you're actually warned or uh, given us some guidance, which is nice. Very nice. Okay, so this is interesting. The past is beyond our control. So that must be some kind of... I wonder if like Josh did this or something to kind of tell them that what happened to the girls is kind of uh, in the past and it can't really be uh, undone as such. Because that looks like spray paint. Not so much blood. Interesting. Oh, hang on a moment. Hang on just a moment. Let's check the background out here. I wonder if there's anything of interest in any of these directions. Uh, nothing too interesting, really. Okay, cool. Awesome. Shut up, noisy bird. Okay, right. Now let's actually go into here. We'll do the shootout and then we'll call it an episode. Chris? You here? Oh gosh, this guy's still here. Ah. Uh, oh boy. So this girl is quite brave and she is very charitable. Let's try and keep her that way. Let's uh, let's actually just close the bag up. Oh, that was white butter. Hang on, a butterfly effect appears when your action have changed the narrative of the game. Oh, interesting. Oh, cool. So here's Chris. He has a crush on Ashley. He's methodical, protective, and humorous. Cool. Oh, so I found something. Amazing. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on. This Always is fun, isn't it? Found some kind of amazing. Gonna not gonna know what it is. Mind. Well, you are actually. Gonna blow our minds. Okay. I see a nice glint there. Let's check it out. Check it out. Wanted. Okay, Victor Milgram. He's a male. Last seen 19. Okay, so this is. Ooh, that's interesting. So that might explain the kind of uh, the motives and the way this uh, whole thing feels like a it's like an older film almost. 1998. So we're in the year 1999. Is that correct? Maybe. I'm not sure. Wanted in connection with a first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Nice. Interesting. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Collect clues to solve the mysteries of into, Until Dawn and increase your chances of survival. Press R1. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that actually said, but uh, I'll check back over that, actually. I'm going to read that. Yeah! Awesome! Ah. It's a bit weird, isn't it? But who questions it? Woohoo, we get some gun action. Right. Let's do it. Here goes. Not too close to those glasses, you'll smash them. So we have multiple objects to shoot at. Let's do this. There we go. Good shooting. Hex. Shoot the can. Yeah, boy. Look at that accuracy. That accuracy is good. Oh. Boom. Not a bad shot, I must say. And that's me I'm talking about, not Chris. It may be Chris. Wow, nice mm -hmm. Yeah, that dance, bro. What's this one here? It's a bottle? Okay. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh dear. It's a squirrel. Hmm. Thing about me, guys, I will never kill an animal in this game. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I know it's just a game, but I still can't do it. It's just not right. Nice shot. Thank you. Just got sacked. 
Peace. Actually, that might maybe considered a swear word. So we just change the future. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Cable car. Lovely birdie. I like the birdie. And the butterfly effect updated. And so did our status. You know what, guys? This has actually been a really eventful episode. Is that a word? Hopefully. It's been fun anyway. And, um, goddamn, I've spotted some really interesting things. As the episodes go on, guys, feel sure to comment down below if you're spotting anything uh, in regards to the story. No spoilers, though, because that will actually ruin the whole playthrough. But, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this one. And, oh, hang on. Well, what's this? Wow, why do we get a close up of his face? I should have really listened, shouldn't I? Whatever, it looks kind of cool how we can just look around. Yeah, this is cool, actually. That's cool. So it zooms into the face if you stand still for too long, I think. That's very interesting. Let's just listen to this. So much for leaving, hey? <laughs> so much for an outro, indeed. Hey, that's weird. <laughs> God, finding the places to break between is actually really difficult, isn't it? He said that? What people? I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. Not cool. Homeless people. Okay, guys, I'm going to end here before we actually open the door. So I will see you, hopefully, in part two, where we'll continue this walkthrough of Until Dawn. And I am looking forward to part two. Hopefully you are too. Goodbye, guys.